Hey guys, just a quick little update on the multimeter situation. So um, I did find a module for this uh, that apparently works correctly uh, uh, on Taobao and uh, I did go through the process through an agent of uh, buying it. Um, but it seems that because of the lack of uh, flights out of places like Hong Kong uh, a lot of the warehouses are completely jammed full of product <laughs> that has shipped from factories but can't get out to their final destination so I got a note from the agent basically saying your package is held up in a warehouse in Hong Kong and uh, here's a link where you can find out you know when it's going to move uh, but at the moment there's no indication as to when it's going to move so I thought time to get another uh, multimeter um, and uh, you know if it does finally arrive at some point uh, great but otherwise so meet my fluke 117 which I think is a fairly standard uh, multimeter these days been around a long time I think has a pretty decent record etc etc so it'll do me fine the only initial comments I would have is I think the uh, it would be better if it had straight probe leads rather than right angled ones uh, because you if you you can't put them pointing downwards because if they do this thing tips over this guy is way lighter than this guy the other thing I notice is this guy reads the measurement way quicker than this guy so the response time of this is like super pretty much instant from what I can see so far whereas this guy it takes a little while to get to <laughs> to get to the final reading um, so there we go, that's it. I will probably then just use the probes out of this one with this guy and uh, we'll hang these up somewhere uh, in case I need them for something else. So that's where it stands. Uh, this is my uh, daily driver now and uh, this guy will get packed away somewhere until I find out whether or not the parts ever do arrive. So maybe more to come on this guy a little bit later.